Hey all, it's Chris from Meats, Beets, and Bubbles. And today I want to talk with you about chopping onions. Uh, pretty much most onions, red, white, yellow. Uh, this is a sweet onion. And um, when I was talking with my oldest daughter, she's like, Mom, I don't really know how to chop an onion. And I was like, well, stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to do that. So this video is in honor of Ariana, my oldest. And also, um, speaking of staying tuned, um, you can find meatsbeatsandbubbles.com. That's the blog. You can find it also uh, YouTube, so subscribe and like. Also Facebook and Instagram. And then I do always post the recipes to Pinterest too. So if that's your jam, go to Pinterest and you'll find them there. So, uh, all right, well, we're going to begin. And everybody, I think, kind of refers to this as the hairy end. So that's where the roots would be. And, uh, and then what I like to do is um, I like to cut it through this end. So we're going to get started, and I'm going to show you how I chop my onions. Make my eyes water. Ooh, yeah. water. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like I have some help today, guys. So I don't think John knew that I was recording. He's always trying to get me to smile. So anyway, all right, so here we go. So I talked a little bit already about the hairy end and that's the stem end. And so what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna take my very sharp knife that my hubby um, kindly sharpened for me the other day. And what I like to do is, if there's any loose uh, papery skin, I'll just kind of pull that off um, first. So um, let's do that and get that away. I do compost all that stuff, so I love all my scraps. Some people will even take their scraps and they will make um, um, vegetable stock out of it too. So basically, I just kind of chop this part off of this, the stem in and uh, just discard that. Uh, and then what I like to do is stand that up then because you have a nice flat stable surface and then I just go right through the hairy end and so now I've made two halves so uh, then my next step is okay, here we go we're gonna peel off this other uh, layer sometimes I, I need to take off a um, couple of layers of the onion there to get to the the good part. So um, I like to do this in steps. Oh, this is kind of a weird onion here. So it's, it's almost like it's two onions in one. Huh, that's kind of strange. Um, so I like to kind of do things, uh, do the same thing, and and then uh, I've got it ready, and then I could just go to the chopping of it. That's what I like to, to do when I'm cutting it. So if I'm cutting four onions, basically a bit of an assembly line. So I've taken off the papery skin. Then what I like to do is I will go set this down so it's nice and flat and stable. And let me show you by going this way. And then I'll take and I will come through here. I'm not so adept at doing it that way. Basically, I'll make about three or four slices going horizontal. And of course, the closer together you make them, um, the finer that you're gonna get your onion. So it just depends on what your purpose is for them. If you're cooking them, you don't need to worry about them being uh, uh, a bit coarser of a chop. If it's going to go in a dressing, maybe you want it to be a, a bit of a finer chop. I'm not going to do this half right now. So I've taken them and I've got, got, gone and done my horizontal cuts. Now I'm going to go through and I'm just going to come back and do my, um, well, we'll just say vertical cuts here. So we're going to put this in, and again, depending on how close together you put them, it's going to be a finer or a coarser chop. So now I take that. Sometimes I get a few bigger pieces, but then I just kind of go through here. Don't get your fingers under there. I've got all of my digits, see? And then you just come along here and you just slice. And you can see here, You can see how you can get it fairly fine. This will be good enough. I'm gonna make a mashed potato soup because I have mashed potatoes from when I made uh, duck breast the other night. So I'm gonna use this uh, for that. I'll probably make it tomorrow. So I'll go ahead and just pre-cut it. Later, I'm gonna be slicing up some onions and bell peppers 
for our fajita steak nachos. So super easy, just go through this way three, four times, come back and make some slices that way. That's how you can slice the onion too. Um, and then you'll just basically cut it this way and so, so easy. And then use your bench scraper and gather it all up, put it in a container or uh, into your saute pan. And, and literally just in a few seconds, guys, eh, more than a few seconds, in a couple of minutes, you've got one chopped onion that's uh, good to go. You know, depending on whatever, I mean, if you love it on your tacos, you like it on hot dogs, I don't know, whatever you like to put your onions on. I'm not a fan of raw onions though, so. But I do cut them for my uh, helper that was down here earlier. He's, ten, he's gone someplace else, so he's not here to pester me. Uh, he does like to stand back there and tell me to smile, so. I'm trying to work on my smiling, but uh, that is how I chop an onion. Uh, so I hope that tip helped you guys. Uh, feel free to let me know if you guys chop it differently, if you've got a suggestion for another video that you want me to do. Um, I'm always up for a bit of a challenge. So uh, hey, um, just uh, even just say hey if you want. But I am going to go finish chopping the rest of this onion and getting my other stuff prepped for our steak fajita nachos tonight. I'm so excited. Hopefully I'm going to hit three fantastic winners in a row. But for now, I'm uh, signing off. Again, you can find me at meatsybeatsandbubbles.com. You can find the same thing on YouTube, on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. All right, guys. Have a great night. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.